you know I don't booze a lot on these flights, but... <laughs> Good day from Sydney. This is a new and exciting one. We've never done this before. Qantas fly their A380 from London to Sydney with a stop in Singapore. There and back, it's four legs and there's four cabins. Economy, premium, business and first. And I am gonna try out all four. All the way here to Australia and back again. Here we go, Sydney Airport, and ready to check in for my economy leg. This area is huge. There's loads and loads of these self-service check-in desks. Even in economy, this is looking good. For an economy passenger, Sydney Airport is a pretty good place to be. If you like shopping, you better watch your wallet. You might have saved a few quid on your economy flight, but you might lose that in Dior, Hermes, Gucci, Rolex, and all the rest of it, that's behind me. Now the thing is, you're always gonna get a decent coffee in Australia, and with plenty of room to hang out with some unbelievable views of the planes here. Flying economy out of Sydney ain't that bad. Welcome on board the Qantas A380 in economy. Seating here is arranged in a 3-4-3 configuration. And on first impressions, the seats are very comfortable. There's decent leg room, they feel padded, they feel nice. There's a lovely recline on these seats and a really sturdy tray table in front of you that's good sized for a laptop and for eating. Every seat has this adjustable headrest that opens, closes and goes up and down for you to be able to rest your head on. There are two little pockets in front of you. And there's also a universal socket for you to charge your bits and pieces. Every seat has an IFE screen. For an economy cabin, that screen is actually pretty decent size. You get a nice squishy pillow. Call it Pluffy. Pluffy pillow. Uncomfortable blanket. You do get this set of headphones. Swing, but... A little bit of padding. Honestly, better than most you get in economy, not those rubbish little in-ear things. I'm quite impressed with these. The drinks are served. A bottle of water was actually brought around almost immediately. And now a full bar service is coming. And not only that, we kick off with a healthy, large pack of chili and lime soy and crisp baked pretzels and salted nuts. Big packet. There are always so little on planes these days, so this is pretty nice. Cheers. All the food here is complimentary, so you're gonna be well fed on Qantas on these long flights. There's a vegetarian option, there's a wagyu beef option, and there's a chicken option. Three choices in the economy, pretty strong. No rock hard bread roll here. You get a big squishy, squashy piece of focaccia. Honestly, best economy bread ever. Wooden knives and forks, might have expected a little bit more. This is all gonna come down to taste. Let's see how it is. Hot and tender chicken, nice veg, fragrant rice, it's pretty good. It's time for the economy call bell challenge. Hello, can I get a cup of tea please? Very quick. I'm back in Changi Airport and that economy flight was actually really impressive. The economy seats are really spacious, comfortable, nice blanket. Headphones are probably the best that I've ever seen in economy. The food was pretty good, it wasn't that plentiful, but I like the full-size Magnum, that was a good little touch. This is an airline that flies some ultra long haul flights and so you really need those economy products to be comfortable. So that was Sydney to Singapore in economy on the Qantas A380, done. Oh, 
Departing Singapore is a premium economy passenger. The layover isn't that long, but the facilities here are so good that even without lounge access, you're going to be happy in this airport. And that's how the premium economy experience with Qantas starts. A bit of nose to nose action. Can I give it a little? I don't know what I'm doing here. And the fun continues right here in Qantas's premium economy on the A380. This is my seat, 34F, where I'm just settling in now for the hop overnight from Singapore to Sydney. This premium economy seat is one of the better premium economy seats I've seen on products. It looks comfortable, big, and these little wings on the side just make you feel like you've got that little bit more privacy. This is just coming together for what is gonna be a really good experience, I think. The smaller cabin also gives an exclusive feel and it is fresh and lovely in here. There's a seat pocket in front of you for storage. There's also a footrest in front of you, which has a little handle that you pull down to release the footrest. The tray table on this seat is located in the armrest. Every seat has a universal plug socket and the USB port for charging. There is a super chic looking light next to the seat here. And then the seat reclines. That is a really deep recline. One of probably the deepest reclines I've ever experienced in premium economy. That is really good. And tonight is an overnight flight, so I'm gonna need this recline. In terms of amenities, there is a quite large pillow. Sometimes in premium economy you see these little ones, but this is like a long and lovely fluffy pillow. A really heavy, business class style blanket this gorgeous again one of the best i've seen in premium economy there's a set of headphones these look noise cancelling and they look like they're going to be very comfortable oh yeah so again nice touch in premium economy pre-departure beverages sparkling wine and water Really impressive choice of three different main courses. A very comprehensive meal served in premium economy here. I went for the spicy beef. Getting a bit peckish in premium economy, well there's this little area where you can come for a little snacky, open up the fridges for a drink, or grab a little bicky or an apple, or a Toblerone. It's time for the Core Bell Challenge, premium economy edition. Let's press the button, and see how long the crew take. premium economy done and I thought I'd be a little bit more tired than this but that premium economy flight was great I was super impressed by the seats on that flight really comfortable really modern looking cabin a gorgeous dinner that was really more like business class food the thick blanket and the big pillow made all the difference and the good headphones this was really an elevated premium economy product that I was really impressed with and on this slightly shorter flight from Singapore to Sydney it was perfect being in that cabin premium economy from Singapore to Sydney done Heathrow Terminal 3, Qantas's home at Heathrow, and from here we'll be taking business class. Hello, how are you? Hello, you good? worth flying Qantas business class just for these. So first and business class passengers join each other in this lounge. There's no separation, but there's places to eat, chill, sit, there's comfortable showers, towels, everything you need for a comfortable rest before you fly. The Qantas lounge is split into two levels. There is a restaurant dining area in the bottom, but upstairs is where it gets a little bit swankier because there is a gym bar. Who doesn't love a gym bar? Starting pretty nice. Welcome aboard the Qantas A380. 
in business class. And so far, I'm super impressed. The seats are in a one to one configuration. I'm happy that I'm in 13K because I'm right by the window and I can see the view and I love a window seat. You also get the benefit of bins next to you. The seat itself is super comfortable and of course extends into a fully flat bed, which we're gonna try out later. There's a large and crystal clear IFE screen in front of me. There's lots of features to the seat. Not only can you adjust it to your liking, there's also a massage feature on here, which is pretty nice. The tray table comes out of the side right here. It's sturdy, it's large, great for working and eating. But the good thing in this seat is there's loads of surface space, lots of flat surfaces and lots of storage. Right next to me here, there's also a universal plug socket, USB charger, and also a light. What I have learned is though, on all Qantas international flights, there is no Wi-Fi. Oh. Let's talk through the amenities we've got here on Qantas Business Class. Some lovely Qantas branded headphones. Lovely big pillow. That is Liam Spencer Pluffy. We then have this, which is a lovely looking mattress. I think that's gonna go on the bottom of the bed to provide that extra support when you're gonna sleep and very squishy, cozy blanket. Dental kit, there's a hand cream, face cream, and lip balm in this. Earplugs, eye mask, and sockies. Oh, is it? You've nicked it from first. <laughs> well, this is a bit of a peak. They've run out of business class champagne, so you get first class champagne in business class today. We're kicking off proceedings with some gorgeous looking freshly baked bread and a salad and a margarita. That's stunning. They need to serve more margaritas on planes. Oh. No salt leaves here. Thank you so much. The chicken is tender. There's a warm hug from the mashed potato and the pesto sauce on top is also delicious. It's a fresh, healthy, winning dish. Now in Qantas business class, they don't let you get away with just a light little meal because one of the crew who's French is insisting I try some of their delectable wines. The bread she's made me eat and the bread was banging. So I'm gonna take her advice. She said there's a sommelier on board, which is pretty niche, but pretty cool. I think every flight should have a sommelier. I'm not a big wine guy, but if someone tells me something's amazing, I'm gonna drink it. Hey, we're right. It's a winner. Even in business class on Qantas, you get a lovely set of pyjamas, so I think it's time for me to pop this on. This bed with a mattress, it's comfy. One of the most fun features of flying on the Qantas A380 is that for first and business class, you get access to this lounge. A place where you can hang out, sit with friends, have a drink. There are three little seating areas, one on either side of the plane. And this is usually the space on some A380s that are used for the bathrooms, showers. But here Qantas has decided to make a lounge and it's a really nice place to hang out. All right, so one thing you might not expect flying Qantas is that actually there's a lot of UK-based crew when you're flying from London over to Singapore on this leg, but even more surprising is where this lot are from. Can you just tell me your hometown, please? I'm from York, in Yorkshire. Yep, Leeds. Leeds? In Yorkshire. These two are from Down Road. He's from a bit further down road, but still Down Road. And I can't, I can't believe it. Oh, and also our Haley works at the dentist where, uh, where I went as a dentist as a kid. It is time for the business class call bell challenge. Hello, hi, how are you? Thank you so much. That's business class done and I was so impressed actually by how modern and fresh the cabin was. The seat was super comfortable. The bed could have been a little bit wider around the feet. I hate my feet being restricted. But the food was plentiful and was really nice. Both dinner and breakfast I thought were pretty excellent. So that was business class on the Qantas A380 from London to Singapore.
My first class flight is from Singapore to London and I'm not going to get a chance to check out the check-in in Singapore. So if I was flying first out of Sydney, right behind me here is where I'll be checking in. The first class check-in at Sydney looks like a separate area, some private desks and looks very quiet. If you're flying first class out of Sydney or if you're a One World Emerald, you get access to this the first class lounge at Sydney Airport and it is stunning with a gorgeous bar area, places to chill out, there's a spa and also a very comprehensive menu with food and drinks that you can order to your table. Well this is the one I've been waiting for, this is my first class experience and I'm flying from Singapore back to London, it's the chunky flight, 14 hours and I get to do it in Qantas's stunning first class. <laughs> Delicious. Delicious, sir. Sia. Is that what delicious is here? Oh my god. I mean, this is just ridiculous. Flying Qantas first class up Singapore, you're not left by yourself. I'm with the lovely Adeline, who has been looking after me from gate to gate, taking me to the lounge and really providing that premium experience. She's lovely. You've got to find Adeline next time you come here. There we go, she said it. Me. Welcome on board this Qantas A380 first class seat. 4K is my seat and it is wow. The first impression you get, this cabin is kind of exclusive but the suite itself is big. The first class cabin on the Qantas A380 is arranged in a 1-1-1 configuration, so every seat has direct aisle access. So on the A380 you've got first at the front, economy at the back, and then upstairs, business at the front and premium at the back. There's an absolutely enormous seat, a big armchair, which is incredibly comfortable. It's wide, it's soft and padded, and sort of hugs you as you sit in it. In front of you is a big area where you can put your feet, and in fact, you can have buddy dining there. There's a seat belt if somebody wants to join you for dinner. There's an incredibly large tray table right here. It opens out and then opens out again. It is a massive. This is probably the biggest table I've ever seen on an aeroplane. There is a large IFE screen right ahead of me, multiple windows in front of me, a cup holder, lots of flat surfaces and also lots of other storage areas and an electric panel right next to me that controls the suite. The seat is loaded up with not just one fluffy pillow, two fluffy pillows, lovely yellow shaded blanket which is in addition to all of the bedding that you get for when you want to make this into the giant bed that it becomes. Toothbrush, eye mask, socks, earplugs, lip balm, serum and cream. You also get a pair of slippers and pyjamas. Pretty chic. Sorry, but you were just getting champagne. Nah, getting caviar too. Not even left the bloody airport. Cheers. Feeding seems to be a theme. There's a choice of five starters, four mains, including fish, veggie, and beef options. All sorts of different desserts. A very full breakfast menu as well for the morning, and a comprehensive drinks menu with cocktails, and wines, and champagnes. Delicious. This has to be one of the comfiest beds in the sky. The thick mattress, it's probably two or three inches thick, is so unbelievably soft and comfortable. I just can't imagine a comfier bed in the sky. When you're on a long overnight flight, like the Singapore to London leg, 14 hours, and you need a good night's rest, you're not gonna do much better than this. And to round things out, it's the first class call bell challenge. Hello. Quick. 
We made it, London Heathrow, and that first class flight experience was pretty spectacular. The real standout moment for Qantas in first class is that seat. The suite is huge and comfortable, and the thing that really blew me away was the comfort of the bed. That thick mattress really allowed an incredible night's sleep. I'm a terrible sleeper on planes, and so to get five or six hours is really rare. The food was also great. The service a little slow at the beginning to say it was a night flight, but the food itself was amazing. The breakfast was brilliant. I love the crunchy toast and those runny eggs were pretty special. All in all, a really special experience and one that I would love to repeat again if I was heading down to Australia. That's Qantas in first class on the A380 from Singapore to London. Done.